Hi everybody, it's Jojo. This is my first time filming a video on this phone like this. Um, so I'm probably, I don't know if I gotta look at this. So I'm looking at that, but I should be looking at that, okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like this is the first time, so it's, I'm gonna be rusty. Um, I'm so, I, guys, I've been filming on that other camera for how many years? Like how many years now? It's been years. It's been like 12 years I've been filming on that camera. So this is gonna be very new for me. Um, I have to get used to looking at the green, um, little green light. Um, so yeah, so now I'm in HD and um, in full force. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited, I'm excited. Um, so now all my videos are gonna be like this. Um, I filmed it out for the day the other day. So um, that's also gonna be uploaded with this. Um, whenever I decide to upload this, this is gonna be an August favorites. I decided to combine my my honest thoughts on the new Jeffree Star Star Wedding collection with just in this video because it, it's going to be a favorite of the month so might as well just combine it okay so let's get started so my first favorite is a Jeffree Star Diamond Juice lip gloss of course let me show you this <laughs> see I'm so new to this okay I hope I'm centered or whatever but yeah so yeah this is Diamond Juice love that it's my favorite um that's over makeup i guess oh no there's one more makeup product excuse me nars foundation yes yeah, so i'm in the shade santa fe medium too so i love this foundation you guys i seriously love it it's like one of my favorite foundation it's full coverage it like it works like a charm it really does like it's one of the best 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 um full coverage foundations um it's matte um i don't have it on now i have on makeup forever but i had it on on my um out for the day that i'm about to upload before this so this is the foundation i was wearing in that video and then of course like in future videos you will see me wearing this foundation it's my new go-to makeup forever is discontinued it's <laughs> it's kicked to the curb and this is the new showrunner for me i love this this is my new going out real fancy like full coverage foundation and then um in my last favorites i showed you my everyday foundation which is the new sephora best skin forever i've been using so this is my everyday and this is my like special occasions clubbing parties dinners birthdays like special special occasions all right so now let's do bath and body work stuff so my first favorite is well i guess i'll do the summer one so the cabana escape you guys this is no joke this is no joke this is really good stuff um it's it's aloe water warm summer breeze and juicy mango the keynotes this is really good this is like my new favorite summer scent it smells like a mango icy it's so good um so i got multiples of these i got like six of these so this is my hands up for the summer so this was a favorite of august and then what i just used up i'm at the very bottom of it it's probably nothing left of it crisp morning air so this i'm starting the full hand soaps now so this is um going into september now so and i love crisp morning air like this is a go-to transition from summer to, to fall all the time for me fresh pine juniper and juicy pear it's so good and i love the packaging really really pretty um another favorite is a jeffree star um lip scrub in the flavor cantaloupe I've been using this one. This is really good. This is a really good, like, like you know, summer lip scrub and to summer. It smells like, it literally smells like cantaloupes. Like, it's very fruity. It's very fresh. It's cantaloupes. It really is. Normally, I go for the sweet candy-like uh, lip scrubs that he has. But this is the only, like, fresh, like, fruity, uplifting, fresh scent um, lip scrub that I have. It's really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's really fruity and like tropical. Um, another favorite is going to be a pen. I know I never favorite a pen, but this pen I ordered off Amazon. I love it. Um, it has a diamond right there. It's so pretty and I love it. It came in a pack of three and then you just twist the pen up. So yeah, I've been writing, you know, my notes and stuff at this time. Um, okay, now let's get into, um, that's it for Bath and Body Works and stuff. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so now let's get into um, the style wedding. So style wedding is definitely a favorite of the month for sure. Um, it hasn't come out yet. It comes out tomorrow, but I will probably upload this after it comes out. So um, I'm probably, I love it. I love it. Um, the lipsticks, it's just like every other lipstick he, you know what I mean? It's just every other color. There's nothing really special about the colors there. Um, it's like he's recycling colors, which is what it is. It, 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 he has so many colors, so many collections that it's just bound to happen, you know? The liquid eyeshadows, I'm not going to get, but they're pretty. They're cute. You know, every brand has like a liquid eyeshadow that's like in, you know, um, that's what they do. You know, it's just liquid eyeshadow. People use it. I don't use it, but people do use it. Um, what else was in the collection before we get to the big, the big, you know, palette, you know, the big shebang. It was a tumbler, which was cute. This whole aesthetic is cute. You know, I think that he kind of has a feeling that he's not, he might never get married, you know, and, um, so I think he was waiting for this collection until like he got married, but I think he knows at this point that it just might not happen. So he's like, let me just put the collection out now. And it's a really cute collection. It's not just for weddings. Like it could be for any, it's a wedding aesthetic, but like it could, you can wear that palette. You can wear the any day of the year. I mean, it really is. The colors in there. Oh wait, I'm skipping ahead. I don't, wait, I'll get to the palette. Hold on. Anything else? I'm trying to get the other stuff out of the way. Um, there was skin products too. There's a serum that I really don't care about. There was a setting mist, which listen, I'm not going to try the setting mist. I'm just not. I, my go-to is definitely, I have it right here, Makeup Forever by Urban Decay. I'm not switching it. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to order a blend offline in case I don't like it. I'm just not doing that like I did with the mascara and that was a mess. So, um, unfortunately, I'm just not going to do that anymore. So, um, I'm not getting the setting spray. Um, anything else? I think that was it. I think that was it. Okay, so now let's get on to the palette. It's beautiful. I love the, the, um, the only thing I like about the, the packaging is that I feel like it's too, it's long, it's big. It's not going to fit in like, say for instance, his like makeup travel bags. Like it's not going to fit in that. It's not going to fit in like on my desk. It's not going to fit together nicely, but, um, it's pretty. It's, it's chrome. It's really nice. Um, it makes you feel like, you know, like you're in love. It makes you feel like, it makes you feel good. Like the palette, the aesthetic, the colors, everything's really nice. There's a lot of colors. Now listen, these colors, you could probably find in any of his palettes. You know, there's nothing new. I don't think there was any one unique shade, honestly, about the, that, that palette. Maybe a couple was unique shades that wasn't in any of his palettes, but most of, 90% of those shades, you could find like duplicates in another palette or very, very similar. What I like about this palette though, is that you have everything in one. So you don't even need, cause I'm like running low on my, look at this is my conspiracy palette, you guys. I'm running so low on this, like look. Everything, I hit pan on like almost every shade, it's dirty the house. Like, so I feel like a lot of shades that were was in the new Star Wedding is similar to this. I'm not gonna swatch anything because I'll be here all day. There's so many similar shades. Like Diacola here, my ride surf questions of Marigo Matte Black that's in the palette. There's nudes and stuff. And um, the hot pink is definitely a standout shade. Um, I think that hot pink is actually a new shade because it's a pink, but I think it's the hottest pink he's ever done, like in any of his palettes. I mean, it, it's really neon hot pink. Like, holy hell, like that's a standout. It's cute, it's cute. Um, you have everything you can dream about. It's all my favorite colors in one palette. That's why I like it personally. I'm running low on my other palettes. So when I run completely low on them with a the point where I really need a new palette, all I need is that one palette and I'm good, I'm set for life because I feel like it has a little bit of everything you like about all of the other palettes. Like, it has a little of blood sugar, has a little of um, of conspiracy. He, well, conspiracy is getting discontinued, so it's probably why he's duplicating conspiracy shades in that palette, which makes sense. Um, and then, you know, he has a little of like other palettes sprinkled in, you know, orgy, a little of um, cremated. And it's just a little of everything in one palette, which I think is neat. It has all my favorite shades, the dark chocolate browns, the nudes, all those pretty metallic golds, the um, the the sultry smoky eye looks you can do on the bottom row, the black, the the black with the silver glitter, the silver metallic. The, I mean, he it's everything in that in that palette. He has an all over lid shade. He has inner corner shades. He has highlighting shades. He has everything. It's it's amazing. So with that being said, um, you know, um, I love it. I th I think it's a great collection. I really, really do. I think finally, you know, um, it's not just one color story. Like it's like a little of everything in one, and this is what I've been waiting for. I might get the palette. 
I might not. I keep see I keep looking here. I'm supposed to be looking here on, on the green button. <laughs> I gotta get used to this stuff, guys. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get it. I just don't know if I'm gonna get it right away, but I'm definitely getting it before the year ends for sure. Um, I might get it next month, I might get it in October, November, I don't know. But be assured that I will definitely get that palette. And when I do, um, I'll probably be using that for the rest of my life. I really don't need any other, except for maybe for colors, for like greens, for blood money, or pinks, for pink religion. Other than that, like that one palette, I'm set for life. I don't need blood sugar anymore. I don't need conspiracy anymore. Like I'm good. I was worried because conspiracy wasn't going to come back. So I was worried, oh my God, like there's not going to be a palette similar to this. Like I'm not going to like a palette. But honestly, like, I think I like this star wedding more than any of his other palettes. I have to be honest with you because for the simple fact that there is a little of everything in that one palette. It's um, it's anyone could 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 want it, and anyone from old, young to whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for a palette for your wedding day, if you're looking for a palette for clubbing, if you're looking for a palette for party for every day for school or for work, this is for you. I mean, it's everything in that palette. And then he has that little pop of color, that pink in the center with the wedding cake. It's so cute. I was thinking, like, if he was making lip scrubs, like, what flavor could he do? He could have done, like, a wedding cake flavor, you know? Like, he could have done. But he didn't do any lip scrubs for this um, for this collection, which is fine. You know, he got, you know, there's so many flavors. Um, but, yeah, I love this collection. It's really great. Okay, so now let's get on to... Uh, what do you guys think of the Star Wedding collection? Just let me know down below. But, no, I love it. I do love it. Um, okay, so... You guys, um, let's talk TV shows and movies. American Horror Stories, the second season, has been amazing. Again, it's a spinoff of, of the American Horror Story. It's a whole totally different uh, show. Every episode is a new story. I've been loving it. My least favorite episode was definitely the the episode where, like, the disease, or whatever, they had, like, this disease, and they where, like, their skin was turning, and it was, like, set in, like, the 1800s. I, that was my least favorite episode, for sure. It was gross and nasty. My favorite episodes were definitely... The one with the um the security system when like the guy was like knocking on her door this creepy old man and like she she was like afraid for her life because she didn't know he was stalking her love that episode also love the episode with the girl um that was like being stalked but then there's like a twist I, I love these episodes because there's always a twist at the end of the episode you know so i think that's cool like there's always like a twist um but um yeah so th th that episode was about this girl who was she felt like she was being stalked by someone but it turns out that um, i'm not gonna ruin it but it's really good that one was i think my favorite i like the dollhouse episode too you know it was really good I, okay so um any more tv shows before i go on drag race australia and drag race canada but i like drag race australia more than canada this season so i'm gonna say drag race australia for sure um what else? Real Houses of Beverly Hills has been really good. I'll say that much. It has been good. Um, okay, so now movies. The only movie I can think of is the movie that came out on Paramount Plus, Orphan. So it's the prequel to the original Orphan. It's called Orphan First Kill. And it just came out on Paramount Plus. It's really good. It was real. I was afraid because, you know, sometimes the prequels and sequels aren't like, you know, like the kind of hit or miss was really good. Of course, I like the original more still. But it was really good. They really continued on with the story of this girl who was like uses her dwarf dwarfism or whatever as like a, like um a disguise to pretend she's like this little young girl i love it i love it and there's a twist in the new one too surprisingly like i didn't think there would be a twist but there's a really good twist in the new one so yeah so um that's that i wanted to tell you also the diamond juice that i showed you earlier in a favorites i have it on my lips now I love it. My makeup look. So my makeup look, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of dark. I gotta like... Can you see it now? Oh, you can see it a little bit, yeah. Oh, no. You can see it a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, but I have on Jawbreaker. You can see it a little bit, but yeah. I have this light. I didn't get a ring light because I don't like a light like in my face. You know, like uh, it's annoying. Like it would like blind me. And, and so like I, I don't like, I wouldn't like the ring light. But I have this other lamp here that's that's giving off light, which is fine enough. Okay. And by the way, I got the stand on Amazon. I got the stand on Amazon, if you guys were wondering. Um, so yeah, that was my oldest favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my first time filming, sitting down like this with this camera. So this is a little shaky. You know, give me some time. I will get used to this. Um, you guys are going to have to get used to seeing me in HD because, you know, you guys are not used to seeing me um, in this high quality. Um, 
so yeah um i love you guys and um any other favorites because sometimes i forget things um well i guess i'll just show you this i'm already starting to use my marshall pumpkin latte it's not a favorite of the month but i'm already starting this i'm already starting all my full stuff my full hand soaps full shower gels everything's out already you will see them in the favorites for the next month of september for sure yeah so i'm already starting that okay um yeah all right i love you guys bye